Welcome to the Bliss Show, brought to you by New Wave Productions. I am Tom Terhar, and I'll be with you all season here on the Bliss Show. Today, we have goaltender for the St. Cloud Blizzard, Britt League with us. Britt, thanks for being on. Tom, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem, man. So, we're going to start off, talk a little bit about your hometown life, then talk about the games from last weekend, the games uh, coming up this weekend, including a big one, uh, exhibition one, a fun one against St. John's. But first, talk about you a little bit. Um, what is Chesapeake, Virginia like as a town? Uh, it's a good town. I, um, I grew up there um, my whole life. I was actually homeschooled. Um, it's about... 30 minutes from Virginia Beach. So uh, I would go to the beach quite often during the summer and okay. um, and boogie board and surf. And so I really- it, Is Chesapeake a uh, relative? I, I don't know, but maybe the people on the, on the in, in, listening know. I mean, is it a big town? I mean, is it a big city or is it a sub suburb or? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a big city. Um, we do have Norfolk okay. nearby and that's, that's a city. That's a pretty big city. Um, I'd say that's like our big city that's okay. close by. Gotcha. And then you're really close to on the beach there. Um, obviously, uh, this is this is hockey, and Virginia doesn't exactly scream hockey. What was it like being a hockey guy growing up in Virginia? Yeah, I uh, got my start at a local rink called Chilled Ponds, and... Um, we have a couple of rinks. Um, Chilled Ponds is definitely the best rink in, in Virginia, uh, Chesapeake area. Um, and I got my start there and just fell in love with it. Um, it's not a huge hockey market in Virginia, but um, they, uh, they do a good job there at Chilled Ponds. So um, that's where I train during the summer and it's where I grew up skating. Yeah, it's and and like you said, there's not too many rinks around there, so yeah. that must have been tough. Uh, what was it like playing for the Junior Hurricanes? Um, it, it, obviously, it's uh, one of the one of the better programs down south there, and and uh, what was it like playing for that team, um, uh, right, and being associated with a part of an NHL team as well? Uh, it's a good good program. Um, I was uh, able to get a lot of guys some good exposure. Um, it's uh, it's funny though. We never had any home games. No, we would have to fly everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure the closest game we ever played was uh, always against the Little Caps, which is like um, obviously it's in D.C. Mm -hmm. And so that was like the only time we would have a, a game that was close by, or um, we would actually occasionally they would come and play us, and that would be our or like basically our one home game right. weekend. But I, I bet you went to uh, the sports center a lot, the National Sports Center in Blaine a lot for uh, tournaments and games and stuff like that. Was there a lot of trips up to Blaine uh, at the National Sports Center? You know, I'm trying to think. Maybe maybe we did, but it, it would have been early on in um, in the Junior Hurricanes career for me. I, I remember my I thought my first time being there was um, – was uh, when I was in North American League okay. for the showcase. Right. I can't recall. Okay. I can't recall us going there gotcha. with, the, with the Hurricanes. But gotcha. Absolutely. Um, uh, how are you liking St. Cloud thus far? Obviously, we're going through Chesapeake now. You've been around everywhere: Johnstown, Winkler, yeah. wherever the heck that is. <laughs> you, you've, you've you've been around to a bunch of different hockey towns. Um, yeah. What 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 is St. Cloud like to you? Oh, I I love it here. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, enjoy town. I enjoy. Uh, I enjoy my billet house. Yeah. Um, You're in with Cooper, right? Family. Yeah. Oh yeah. Braden, Braden Cooper. Cooper. You guys getting along? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love that guy. Um, yeah. No, I'm really enjoying it. So. Good. Good. I'm glad that we're we're all glad to hear that. Um, do you enjoy living in an area? And obviously, you're used to it now that you've been with a few junior teams. Uh, do you enjoy living in a hockey-centered area, or would you much rather be back home in Chesapeake? Uh, I'm definitely, I'm hockey all the way. So yeah. I, obviously I love, uh, I love being, um, around people who like also enjoy the game. And I feel like, um, it's a good hockey town to be in, good place to play here in St. Cloud. So 
No, I, I would agree. I would agree, Britt. Um, so getting off the topic uh, of hockey, what do you do other than play hockey? When you go home uh, to your billet family, what, what do you do? What do you like to do for fun? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I have uh, two billet siblings, I guess, is okay. what you could yeah. call them. Oh, yeah. um, Max and Charlie. Max is four and Charlie is six. Okay. And uh, when I first got here, when it was still warm, we would uh, go out and fish for oh. hours after practice. So that was fun. Uh, now that it's a little bit colder, um, I'm just waiting for the for the uh, pond hockey to start <laughs> before that. Yeah. But um, mostly uh, just hang out with the with the kids, Max and Charlie, and then uh, me and my roommate Braden Cooper actually have started a pool series. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm currently dominating. The series. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna have to catch up, but. Um, we play a lot of pool recently, so. Oh, awesome. They have a nice big pool table. Yeah, oh, yeah. Family. I'm enjoying oh. that. So. <laughs> awesome. So, growing up, did you play any other sports other than hockey, or was it hockey, 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 everything? Mo it was only hockey for me because um, I didn't really have a whole lot of other time to yeah. uh, pursue any other sports. Um, I was on the ice a lot growing up, so um, yeah. I didn't really have a chance to play any other sports. Um, when I was like past the age of like five, I think I played like soccer when I was five. Okay. But, um, just just for fun, like the uh, life of a goalie. I, I know how yeah, that goes. Then, it's the life of the goalie. <laughs> yeah, that's it's basically just been hockey. I got you. Um, do you have a favorite movie or a favorite show you like to binge when you're just kind of chilling around, laying around? Hmm, favorite movie. Uh. I really like the movie uh, Fury. I uh, oh, watched yeah. that recently, the tank movie. Yes. I thought that was cool. We got that for the bus, actually. I got that one for the bus, really? so we're going to watch it on the bus pretty soon. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's one of my favorite movies. I just like, I just like that movie. I like the, like the fighting spirit of that yeah. movie. So. I got you. Awesome. Um, are you a gamer? Well, and if you are, what games do you play? I actually, growing up, I haven't had a gaming system, except for I did have a GameCube. You had a GameCube. I would always, I would always go over to my neighbor's house though, and we would game together. Um, my my bro Cody Harris, we would play <laughs> Call of Duty, and then uh, uh, recently we this summer we were playing Fortnite, and so um, awesome. I never had a gaming system, but uh, I enjoy playing games occasionally. So. What was your favorite game to play on the GameCube back in the day? Oh, GameCube Lego Star Wars. <laughs> Lego sure. Star Wars. That's yeah, great. I like, I like that game. <laughs> All right. Um, who is your uh, – we talked about it a little bit before this, but who is your favorite hockey player? Braden Holpe for Holpe. sure. He's a beast. He's a beast. Yeah. Um, tell, tell, tell everyone why you like Holpe so much, like what, 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 why you like his style of playing in the net. I just think he's uh, – He's, he just is a strong skater. That's really what I really admire about him is how quick he is on his feet, um, holding his edges. He's really patient. Uh, it's just a good skater. Like that's mainly uh, that's mainly the biggest thing that I try and um, like watch when I'm watching him. Yeah, to emulate him right. in that way. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Um, other than hockey, who do you look up to in life? Who, who's your hero? Uh, I would say my dad and uh, my grandpa, uh, my both my grandpas. Um, I've looked up to them, and um, I'm actually I'm named after my dad. So oh, awesome! Um, Are you so technically I, Brit League Junior? I'm Brit League the fifth. The f oh wow, yeah, that's so a lot of Brit Leagues. Yeah. <laughs> Brit League the fifth. <laughs> All right, yeah. that's that's cool. That five is hard to put on the back of a jersey, isn't it? Yeah, I actually I've only had the five I've had the five on there for one se one season one at season. one point okay it was on my jersey at one point 
I thought it was cool. We'll have to get that thing back on there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we need to work on that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, who's your favorite NHL team? Capitals. Capitals, for sure. no doubt about it. Yeah. Obviously, you like Holtby. Is there a forward that you like watching on them? Obviously, Ovechkin, I'm assuming. Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson. Yeah. Yes. He's a hoss. <laughs> He's a hoss. <laughs> He's just a tough guy, and he like he does it all. He's just yeah. all around, um, all around great player. Yeah, definitely. I would agree with that. Um, not everyone's pick when they say favorite player in the Capitals, but not everyone's <laughs> pick. But uh, what's your most embarrassing hockey moment? Hmm. Uh, or in, want... maybe in your case, the the most embarrassing goal let up or okay. mistake. <laughs> yeah, that's that's easy. I uh, one time I scored on myself. Like <laughs> I caught the puck, put it down to go play it. And then I had my head up, I guess, and I somehow it nicked off the heel of my stick. I was dead center in the crease. Uh, it nicked off the heel of my stick and went behind me. And then I guess I spun around and it was in the net. <laughs> so that one was pretty bad. But. Uh, it sounds like fun. Was that back in youth or was that in that was early juniors. in juniors? That was juniors? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, we all have those moments, right? Yeah, it happens sometimes. But As of right now, what is your best hockey moment, your favorite hockey moment you've had? Um, that's a tough one. Uh, there's so many. I don't know. I think just like the little things, I guess, just like um, just being with uh, my teammates and stuff, like um, – doing things after practice together. Like uh, we got a great group of, group of guys. Um, we do a lot of stuff together, like uh, movie night and um, earlier on we had a cookout. And I think those are just like- um, With this team you did that? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Blizz. Yeah. And I think those are, the, those are the things that I'll probably remember the most, just like getting to know the guys and having a good time with the guys, so. I really like that answer a lot of times. It's not the stuff on the ice you remember. It's all the memories you create with your teammates. That's, that's a really awesome answer, Britt. Uh, we'll head to some, after that emotional answer, we'll head to some, <laughs> we'll head to some puck talk now. Right. Um, the games last weekend, we split the homestand against the number one in the division, Bismarck Bobcats, a 5-4 shootout win with Britt in the net on Friday night, and then a 5-1 loss on Saturday night. What was the team's overall reaction to the one-in-one -one weekend? Um, I think that uh, the team was happy but not satisfied. Um, you know, we, we need to believe in ourselves and expect to win every game. So mm -hmm. um, we, were, we were okay with the – after the Friday night's game, we were happy and we knew that we, uh, we wanted to get all four points, but um, it didn't end up playing out like that. Um, so, yeah, I guess overall just – still hungry yeah absolutely you got to play hungry um you personally on friday night you stopped 39 of 43 shots on goal um and two big stops in the shootout what keeps you in the zone and focused even through some goals let in and some uh let's call them questionable calls during friday night's game <laughs> yeah uh i have a i have a couple of different tricks um just kind of like i guess you could call them like resets and mm -hmm. um like one of them i know like a lot of goalies use this just like uh flip flipping your water out of your water bottle and then just picking out one droplet just to lock in on just to kind of for one it resets your vision mm -hmm. on a on a specific point and then uh for two it's just like almost like a routine thing like when i do that i know like all right time to refocus mm -hmm. and uh for me i like to uh, cause like, I don't know, for me, it's hard to keep my focus on anything hundred percent for like an extended period of time. Yeah. So I make sure I take a couple of breaks, like in between whistles, I like, all right, I'm refocusing. And then when they, they're about to drop the puck, then I, then I'm back in it and I can, yeah. I can focus on that, uh, on the play a little bit better. I find if I do take breaks, um, to reset. So, uh, I just, that's basically uh, kind of like my mindset, how I look at it, of how to stay focused.
It's awesome. And also know you do the little slapping of the posts. Is that yeah. more of a routine or more of like a, like a lucky horseshoe type of thing for you? What, what is that routine? I would call it a routine. Okay. Like a ha- kind of a habit. Okay. Um, and it just helps me like be aware of where I am yep. in position to the net. Absolutely. Um, going forward, we talked a little bit about Friday night. Um, how do we play in the future, the blizzard? How do we play like Friday night rather than Saturday night? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I think I think the boys uh, do a good job at trying to prepare for every game, uh, every game the same. So um, sometimes you just, you know, you don't get the bounces your way or whatever it is. Uh, I think we just got to have that killer instinct, you know, like never satisfied. Mm-hmm with um with the game before um and just just keep the keep the get foot on the gas i guess okay yeah absolutely and uh also last weekend in between games actually on saturday morning we did some uh you guys excuse me did some volunteer work uh where were you stationed for that volunteer work and how did it go uh i was in um the uh it's uh i was at like a convention a Halloween convention. Um, the Kids was, Expo, it right? It was good. Kids yeah, Expo, yes. yeah. That's yeah. what it was called. And uh, it was good. Got to um, hang out with some some of the fans and uh, talk to the kids about their costumes. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah, who, who had the best costume? Was there a kid that jumped out to you? I saw a guy in a uh, red Power Ranger costume. Oh. <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll head now to the upcoming games this weekend. We have actually three, which is rare for us. Actually, tomorrow or today, depending on what time we're recording this, um, uh, Saint J- we're, we're taking down St. John's on Wednesday night right here at the Mac for an exhibition game against the Johnnies. And then Friday night, we have a home game against uh, the Minnesota Wilderness. And then we head up to Cloquet on Saturday night to play it to play the wilderness again a little bit of a home and home situation here for the blizzard this weekend um last time we played them we won six to five in some dramatic fashion here at the mac what is the key specifically to taking down the wilderness again at home on friday i think um focus is huge um for me uh, i'm just staying focused on the next shot um I'm just competing competing to get in position so that's pretty much it's pretty much um, what I try and focus on, and um, the rest is kind of muscle memory in practice. Right, absolutely, yeah. Um, and this is I like a lot of a lot of coaches because uh, Mo usually has a, a different tagline. I feel like for every week, he has a few things he says all the time. What is Coach uh, Mantha's ben, uh, message been this week during practice? Uh, a lot of attention to details um, and just buying into the system. Okay. Um, that's really been the message this week. Just really having everyone on the same page, on the everyone same page. on board. Yep. Absolutely. All right. And uh, before we head to the all important uh, player poll, you said you had a few questions for me, Britt? Oh, yeah. What do you think about Pierre, the, the announcer? Do you enjoy listening to him call the games? Pierre? Pierre. Magu- Pierre Maguire. Do you what, know? Which, what channel is he? What, like, what, what, I think what N- games do you NBC. Go? See, I, he calls he calls a lot of the penguins games. Yes. He calls a lot of the big yeah. games. So if I'm being completely honest, I don't listen to other people. I mean, I, I listen to my dad because he's my coach and he's yeah. been around a lot. And then what I try to do is I try to listen to myself because if I li- if I go and listen to a whole bunch of other people, it'll give me great ideas, but also kind of hinder me on on how I like to do things and will make style. away from my style. So right. I listen to myself and I listen to my dad because he's my coach. And, uh, yeah, I'm just always trying to make myself better instead of trying to make me sound like other people. So Interesting. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Was that your only question? That that was my only question. That's a good question. All right, Britt. That's the first time we've done that. Maybe we make that a regular. Now time for the all-fun player polls. All right. Let's do it. We'll start from the top. <clears throat> Who's the biggest ladies' man on the team? I think that'd be Chandler Kajawa. Um, <laughs> just an all-around good guy. The ladies love him. So. <laughs> the ladies love him. 
You can't, you can't. Uh... Oh, and by the way, you have to give answers. You can't just, you can't just say the player's name. You always have to give a, a, an answer. An so an explanation. All Thank right. you. Um, we'll, we'll jump, we'll jump around a little bit. We'll go back and forth here. Uh, who's got the dirtiest locker? Dirtiest locker. Hmm. I don't know. Um, let me think. Let me just do a mental <laughs> through the locker room. <laughs> Um, it might be me to be honest. <laughs> I just have a lot of stuff going on in my in my stall. It's right. hard to. Well, you're goal. You got a lot more pass than everyone. Yeah, and I uh, I I I eat a, like a snack, some sort of snack in between each period. Okay. Um, of games that I'm playing, so sometimes that gets messy. Okay. So I'd All say right. me All to right. be honest. Uh, who's the best gamer on the team that you've seen or heard of? Best gamer, probably my roommate, Braden Cooper. Cooper? He's what is he good at? Pretty legit at Fortnite. Fortnite, yeah. really? Okay, Fortnite, I'll take your word for it. Uh, who's got the cleanest locker? Cleanest locker, um, probably Bud. Bud? Just setting yeah. an example oh, yeah. for, for the boys. Yeah. Speaking of Bud, everyone's picked Bud for this one. Who's the most responsible? Who's the dad of the team? Yeah, Bud. <laughs> yeah, Bud, yeah. yeah. He, he takes care of his stuff and make sure make sure everybody else is doing what they need to do. <laughs> yeah. Who's the biggest trash talker on the team? Biggest trash talker on the team? Probably Rocco. Rocco? Yeah, he's a pretty tough guy and <laughs> he knows he knows uh, how to handle himself out there and yeah. he doesn't take any he doesn't take anything from anybody, mm -hmm. so probably Rocco. All right. Uh, who's the biggest nerd? Biggest nerd. I don't know. Like Marvel, Star Wars, that type of stuff. Maybe they're smart. Uh, I don't know. Whatever I, your definition of nerd is. I heard O'Neal likes <laughs> likes the Joker, and he, I don't know. I hear him talking about movies sometimes. So maybe O'Neal. I'm, I'm not really sure. All right, O'Neal. He's running away with that, by the way. So That's everyone it. everyone thinks he's a nerd. Apparently, uh, who's got the worst laugh on the team or the most annoying laugh? The worst laugh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. Maybe Brock. Uh, Brock. I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, if he's got the weirdest laugh, but he can make some pretty funny sounds. Like he's got this one uh, goat sound that he does. It's like man, <laughs> he does that, and it's pretty funny. So. All right, we'll, we'll go with Brock for that one then. Uh, who's got the best hair on the team? Best hair on the team. Hmm. Probably Connor Coet. Connor? Yeah. He's got some good flow. He's got some flow. Uh, who's got the best nickname on the team? Cujo, for sure. Cujo. I do yeah, like that Cujo. name, especially because it's, it's a goalie thing, too, because yeah. you think of Curtis Joseph. Curtis so. Joseph. Cujo. I, I'm, I'm, I agree with that one, best nickname. Val Chandler will get that one. Who's got the best style or the best fashion on the team? Probably Murray. He, Murray? Uh, he, has, some, he has some cool clothes, and I like his style. I'd say Murray. All right, Murray will get that one. Uh, who is the fastest skater on the team? Hmm, we have a, we have a lot of good skaters. I I mean Wardo, Wardo can fly. Um, O'Neal, Greener, um, fastest skater. Probably probably Wardo. Wardo. Wardo's pretty quick. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, who? Who's the team goon? The fighter, the big hitter, who's the team goon? Team goon? Mm. Rocco plays hard, he hits. Um, Braden Cooper, he's he, he battles and he hits. Um, I'd say those two. Those two? Those we'll two give a tie. Gritty. We'll give we'll give him a tie for that one. Uh, who has the best handles on the team? Best stick handling. Best handles. Other than yourself, of course. Goalies always have the best stick handling. <laughs> Scoring on myself. <laughs> With my handles. I don't know. Um, best handles. Wardo's got got really good puck control. Um, O'Neal, Greener, uh, Bork. Bork has some good handles. Um, I'd say I'd say those guys come okay. to mind yeah. immediately. Yeah, absolutely. Um, who is the locker room clown, the biggest goof on the team? Who's the clown? 
Luke Aquaro cracks me <laughs> up. Uh, he's just a funny guy, great guy. Yeah. So I'd say All Luke right. Aquaro. He can, he can be the clown for sure. Uh, who's got the best shot on the team? Best shot on the team. It's hard to pick. I mean, goalie would know. I yeah, mean, to be honest, the so goalie's many. the guy who would know. Yeah, there's so many, though. Like, I immediately I say Bud because he, he's so, like, deceiving with – what he's gonna do, and he's got a quick release. Um, I'd say Bud. Okay, Bud. Bud Winter, best shot. All right, last one. Who's got the worst taste in music? Uh, I don't know. Alex Kupka. <laughs> you can't he, forget he about plays some. He plays some questionable songs, <laughs> in my opinion. Like, like songs. what? Like what? Well, the other day I was trying to get him to play this song. Uh, called bottoms up and he wouldn't play it and he's just playing his like uh <laughs> his his music his foreign music <laughs> so i don't know about that <laughs> no he, he he has he has good music taste it, it's just you know a little bit euro i guess <laughs> yeah a little bit a little bit uh over the pond ish for, <laughs> yeah. for a cup cup <laughs> All right. That'll about wrap it up here for the Bliss Show. Britt, thanks for being on with me. Thanks for Had a good time. Uh, we'll be on next week with a, a different uh, St. Cloud Blizzard player. Make sure to check us out Wednesday or Friday night here at home and check us out at Hockey TV uh, at the 7 p.m. puck drop for Saturday night's game. Have a, have a great rest of your day. Again, this was the Bliss Show.